A picture-perfect day at Summers High School in Summers, Connecticut. It's soccer season, and Monday afternoon, the boys from Summers High and Cathedral High School were on the field for the first time, scrimmaging each other in preparation for their upcoming seasons. It all looked very routine, until you saw all those green shirts and all the number fives on the back. Led by their coach, John Pantusco, all the summer's players wore Connor Reynolds shirts on Monday afternoon in a tribute to their friend who was taken from them so tragically last March. He's been on my house. We play soccer together. Um, we scrimmaged this, this cathedral team last year twice. Um, he was just a great kid, and we loved to hang out with him. Connor, he was, he was like the nicest kid. He would, he would joke around with you and stuff when, like, if you played bad, he would joke around, but he'd always make you feel good and pick you back up, dedicating the season to Connor, because, I don't know, I mean, we were thinking, what if it was someone in our school or something, you know, so we're supporting him. You know, we are honoring Connor, and uh, this all comes from, from the family, our family, the Reynolds family, we just try to build a big, huge soccer family, and I don't care what color your shirt is or what color your skin is, if you're a soccer person, you're, you're part of our family. Monday afternoon, it really was about family. And, you know, you can say this about most sports. The kids who play against one another usually end up getting to know one another. And the players who were on the field on Monday all play on summer league teams together. They've known each other for a long time. It's really one big happy family. Summers and Cathedral teammates alike say they're going to miss their fallen friend. It's hard, but it's something that I want to do. We want to go out and uh, win games for him. The season's definitely for him. It's going to be difficult, but... Um, He's up there helping us out, and uh, that's going to be a big key for the season, just playing for Connor. He was a wonderful kid. He loved the game of soccer, so we just figured it would be a good way to um, show our dedication and memory for him. No, you don't ever recover from losing a player like Connor, but what you do is you try to um, remember him, and you try to do the best that, so these kids can remember him. And these are the things that we do, that Joe taught me to do, is to make things special when you have the opportunity, too.